Welcome back to the channel, guys. Yesterday, I hopped into some Hero Showdown to try to get some duels for a video and ended up having a pretty good match here. Uh, this Kylo player was a really good sport. He was into the one versus one, and we were trying to get some duels, but his partner, uh, the Boba Fett player that you see, I had to take him out because they were not into it. And every time we tried to start, Boba would try to get involved and start shooting. So I had to get him out of there real quickly. Um, and you'll see in the next few rounds here, Boba switches to Darth Vader, and we had a fun time. Let's just put it that way. It was a very interesting match. Probably the most obnoxious Darth Vader player I've come across in this game so far. And uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But real quick, we're going to dispatch Kylo Ren. It happened again here as Yoda, and I'm just showing you uh, this part to demonstrate because I didn't record the first round. But here we're, you know, we're emoting. We're getting ready for a duel. I'm uh, circling, starting my attack. I see he's still getting ready. But then Boba comes out of nowhere with the shots. And even Kylo gets mad. He's like, dude, stop. What are you doing? And it's just these kinds of players in Hero Showdown that ruin the duel experience. I understand there are some Showdown players that don't like one versus ones, and that's cool. But if that's you and you see people are trying to one versus one, just find a different lobby, man. Like, have a little bit more respect for your fellow player. Don't do what this Boba Fett player is doing. So I'm, I'm doing my best just to get him out of there. He's just flying away and uh, trying to keep distance. And that actually should have been a huge indicator of how this guy was going to play Darth Vader. Here, I'm just trying to lunge with Yoda, but we get one, two, and three to finish it. And he was being annoying, so I hit him with the emote. But it was this next round here uh, where he picked Darth Vader. And I'm expecting to try to duel Kylo, but I knew the Darth Vader was going to come and try to ruin my day. And that's exactly what he did. So I kept my block high. I knew it was coming. And Kylo's being cool. He's going to let us duke it out here. And this is where the fun begins. Darth Vader comes in with very predictable attacks, trying to dodge behind me and get attacked into my back, so I easily parry that. But what was frustrating about these duels is this right here, what he was doing the entire time, he was just maintaining distance, backing up, and blocking. And that's all he did. This dude was 100% grade A leatherback turtle, just turtling the entire time. And it got to the point where I got so fed up that I stopped chasing him and I just let him come to me because it was literally five minutes of tag. Here, I'm trying to go for the knockdown. I've got that epicenter card, so damage is sneaking through. But again, just super predictable attacks. I'm parrying those. Got one into his back there. And when he gets low on stamina, or if he runs out of his abilities, it's just back to backing up and blocking. He actually went for a jump attack there. I was a little surprised he tried that. And here I see he's low, but I knew he had the choke right there, so I kept the block up, and now that he used it up, I'm gonna go in for the attack. And he's keeping his defense high. And he's keeping distance between us, but he's not letting his stamina recover, so I'm trying to capitalize on that. I'm kind of running into the same issue here. Now look at that, he's just backing up and blocking. And it's Darth Vader too, like that's what pains my soul the most to watch this is the fact that it's Darth Vader doing this. If it were any other character, it wouldn't be that bad because they don't have the health. But it's like every time you get a couple of shots into Vader, right there, he'll activate Focus Rage and it's like you didn't do anything. And I'm chasing this dude up and down the map. I couldn't follow up with those attacks. But you know, I'm doing consistent damage, so I'm not too concerned. I just can't get too aggressive and have him catch me in the choke. So I'm trying to be strategic, but I'm also trying to get damage into him. He parries me there. He got me with the saber throw. I could have parried those. And there's the choke. I heard it go off, so I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive. He got two good shots into me there. My main focus here is just to not let him touch me and try to get him as much as possible, but that saber throw is breaking through. That's a tough one to counter sometimes. Parries me there. Luke's health recovery is great, so it doesn't matter too much. It's when you get hit back to back to back, that's when it really sucks, but one hit at a time here and there is not bad. See, at this point, I'm just fed up with chasing him, so I'm gone. I turned around and I'm like, screw it, you're coming to me now. I was so fed up with this guy's play style easily countered and he actually got me in the choke there but he wasn't able to follow up I think he was trying to do that frame tap glitch and uh, he mistimed the attack fortunately had he timed that correctly I would have lost but two easy parries there 
Took some damage, so he's backing up. He activated Focused Rage. He's low on pretty much everything, so I'm trying to seal the deal, but he's just maintaining distance. There goes a choke, so I know I'm free to attack. The return hit actually hit me there. And a parry finishes it. And at this point, I was so frustrated and annoyed. I, like, <laughs> I felt that taunt was well warranted because this guy was just getting on my nerves. Between the Boba Fett gameplay, or between the Boba Fett games and the that Darth Vader duel, I was just done with it. Had two fancy blocks there on the Kylo Ren, though. I thought that was pretty slick. And I didn't realize how low the clock was at that point. I, I didn't realize this dude was trying to take it to a draw. Um, I was just so in the zone from that Darth Vader duel. I was amped after that win. I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Little did I realize there's five seconds left on the clock and he's just trying to take it to a draw. <laughs> he's like, stop it, man, we're done. <laughs> and that's when I realized, oh, okay, my bad. I was so in the zone right there, that's crazy. I'm waving at Kylo, trying to say sorry. Like, I trust Kylo, Kylo's cool. It's Darth Vader I don't trust, so I'm keeping my block up, because I know that choke will come in at any time if I drop it. Got a knockdown with the uh, repulse and a follow-up hit. One with the rush, not too bad. And it's just like that last round. This is pretty much a repeat. Back to the same old strategy of blocking and backing up. Easy parry there. See, I'm charging because I was looking for an opening for a hook, but when he backs up like that, it makes it really hard to land a hook swing. I would have been hooking on him way more if it weren't for this. Missed that knockdown. But I'm just trying to keep up the pressure on him because the further he gets away, the more time he has to recover. And I just, I don't want that. I'm trying to stick to him like white on rice right now. Because I know that's all he's going for. He's just trying to keep distance and get his abilities back. So I'm doing everything I can to not let that happen. He's doing a good job of it here, though. I wasn't in range. I wasn't in range there, either. Just every time I get close. So obnoxious. This is so obnoxious. See, I'm done with it. I'm fed up with it. I'm like, no, you're coming to me. I'm sick of this sh He's hurting right now, so I'm trying to keep it up. Parried him there. He got me with that choke. And that see, that's the danger of being overly aggressive against Darth Vader. That's why I'm like trying to be aggressive, but I'm also trying to be defensive at the same time. Because I know the choke can come from anywhere. Parry. Knocked down, that was clean. With two follow-ups, that was pretty good. And I think this is where we finish it, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, I'm not mistaken. <laughs> he popped Focus Rage. And I know what he's going to do. He's just going to back up and wait for his abilities. So I'm saying, no, you come to me. I'm tired of chasing you up and down this map. Parry. He has the most predictable attack timing, too. He parried me there. Got two good shots into him there. That was strong. Parry, parry to finish it. Yeah, that's where it was. So that was probably the most obnoxious two duels against Darth Vader of my life. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you're new for more Battlefront 2 content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.